A very good morning and welcome back to your own channel Seek the Soul that Lies Within. The link for this channel for the people who are listening to this on Instagram is given in the description down below where you can go, you can click and you can find out about more blessings whichever topic you like about the blessings you can check them out. They are 218 blessings till date and then you can also check out flexibility, yoga asans, how to do exercises while sitting on a chair and also about relationships, diet, parenting, confidence, depression and much 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 more. A lot of things have been covered in this channel. Have a look and spread the good news. So let's go ahead with 218th day of our Godly blessing. What does Baba have to say? Let's have a look. Baba says may you be a master teacher. God is the supreme teacher. Now, many people say, how can God be a teacher? Well, all the different scriptures which have been written have been written in the memory or in the praise of God. But God says, I am the ocean of knowledge, ocean of peace. Until unless I come down on earth and I speak out the knowledge, you children can never recognize me, never realize me and never find the way to go back. So, many religions find out God or talk about God as a father, as a creator. But in the so-called Hindu religion, they believe that God comes down on earth. But what does he do when he comes down on earth? He's not here to eat food. He doesn't come over here to wear clothes and get all the importance and all the autographs and all. No, nothing. He doesn't come down on earth to buy a property. He says, I come down on earth as a father, as a teacher. I teach you how to become pure because I'm the purifier. And then he comes down on earth as a guide as a guru who guides us and shows us the method to cleanse ourselves and go back to Paramdham. So he comes down with three goals on earth and he comes down at the end of Kaliyuk when people are in slumber, sleeping like Kumkaran and not recognizing that the world is coming to a conversion or a transformation from Kaliyuk to Satyuk. That's the time God comes down on earth. So what does Baba do? Baba comes down on earth, shares the knowledge and makes us also teachers, master teachers who can share this knowledge with others. So you are a master teacher if you're sharing this knowledge. So may you be a master teacher and constantly accumulate in your account of charity and enable others to do the same. So let's understand what's the complete meaning of this. Baba means to say we are master teachers. When you say master, you automatically remember the father. God is a father, a child is known as a master right so by remembering the one who creates you that is God the father who creates us creates us doesn't mean that he makes us in a mold or something he gives us knowledge and creates us in a pure form so Baba says you automatically remember the father by remembering the one who creates you you automatically remember yourself as an instrument so I am an instrument this knowledge is not mine God has given me to keep it to share it with others right but I am not the owner of this pure knowledge. So I cannot have the ego that I am the one who is sharing this knowledge with you. So ego goes away. I am just an instrument. So Baba says, by remembering the one who creates you, you automatically remember that you are an instrument. Instrument or a broker in simple comparison. A broker doesn't own either of the land or the property, right? He just makes sure that one of the person, either of them gets to sell and buy the property or the land or anything per se. So here too, I don't own this knowledge, you don't own this knowledge, but you utilize this knowledge or you help others to get this knowledge, you become a broker. So Baba says you're an instrument. So always have the special awareness. I am a charitable soul and accumulating and to enable others to accumulate in their accounts of charity is a special service. So I am a charitable soul and accumulating this knowledge and to enable others to accumulate. Why am I accumulating this knowledge? So that I can give it to others, share it with others. So people generally think about we have to give money to get money. The more we give or in the terms of tithe, you give money, God gives you back more. God says you give out this divine knowledge and you'll get unlimited blessings in return. You give out money, limited. How much can you give out? Limited. But this knowledge can be given out unlimited. How much can you get back? Unlimited blessings. So, I am a charitable soul and accumulating and to enable others to accumulate in their accounts of charity is special service. A charitable soul 
cannot accumulate even 1% of sinful thoughts in this account. So the main hard work over here is I'm sharing this knowledge with you, but I have to work hard towards having pure thoughts towards everybody. I have to work hard towards having pure thoughts towards me also. If I have got sinful thoughts, then sharing this knowledge has a lesser effect on other people. So God wants me to also purify. God wants everybody to purify themselves. Even this knowledge is even for the parents who are, want to have an effect on the children, who want the children to listen to them. First, children are looking at you. Children are seeing whether you follow your own thoughts, words and action or not. Are you in tandem with your own thoughts, words and actions? What you say, what you think, what you say, what you do is equal or not. Are you greedy? Are you angry? Are you jealous? Because those are not the qualities of a hero. So children are looking for heroes. Heroes are those who work on principles of values and virtues. So if you are parents who listen to this, values and virtues imbibe them so that your children respect you and they listen to you. If you are uh, somebody who is working in an organization, imbibe those values and virtues. They will respect you. They will start listening to you. Or if you're from any organization, if you're a teacher who's listening to this in your school, not just your knowledge on physics, mathematics, geography is important, but your character is more important. Some children respect your knowledge, some respect more of your knowledge and your character. And today in the present days, they're looking for both. Earlier, people used to bow in front of knowledge because people generally used to have character a couple of years back. But now, even people with knowledge are with less character. So God wants us, what is less character? Having ego of knowledge is less character. So God wants us to become pure. Let's explore more. So a charitable soul cannot accumulate even 1% of sinful thoughts in his account. A master teacher means one who accumulates in his account of charity and enables others to do the same like the father. First I have to do, accumulate this knowledge and I can accumulate this knowledge when I have purity in my mind. You cannot put milk in a used vessel because when you heat it up, what will happen to the milk, right? Milk is a metaphor for knowledge, this pure knowledge. You cannot have that knowledge with an impure mind. The vessel is the intellect, cannot be impure because what will happen to this knowledge? It will get mixed up. They won't be any use. So that's what God wants us to do. He doesn't want us, want us to have any sinful thoughts because this knowledge mixed with sinful thought is like putting a single drop of poison in a glass of water. Exactly. Your Amrit or your holy water is a symbol of pure knowledge. And this small sinful thought makes that holy water full of poison. So that is what God wants us to do. So practice that at home and if you have any suggestions if you have any comments do post them in the comment box down below on instagram or twitter or youtube where you're listening to it have a blessed day and stay healthy